What's going on, you guys? So, I wanted to do um, first impressions of a game that I just got my hands on. It's not out yet, and you'll see the title in a second, but it's in French. Or, I think it's French, right? And it says profile, so I'm just gonna... Yes, I have a French first name. Alright, there we go. So... There is the uh, name of the game, and uh, it's a game that some of you guys are very keen and crazy over, and uh, I am one of them. And I'm trying to figure out how to, um, yeah, change the, oh, there we go, Polski. All right, cool. So I got into English. This is good. So uh, this game is a game that I'm really excited for. It's... It's an interesting take on an RPG uh, kind of, I think it's also, I would say strategy game, it's an RPG strategy game. It reminds me of Papers, Please, so definitely want to get it hooked up. I know the Historical Gamer, uh, Matt from the Historical Gamer is really charged up about this game. There should be a video on his channel, uh, either now or shortly. So let's start it up, let's see, uh, let's not keep you guys waiting, right, because I, I know you guys want to take a look at this. Act one, Liberty, day four. I missed day one, two, and three. This is, by the way, a demo. If you didn't notice, there's a beta build here. So everything is, uh... okay, during the tribunal. So everything here is subject to change. So I just don't want, you know, you guys to say, well, that's, you know, that, that there's a bug there or this there. It's all beta. So just keep that in mind. Cool. And it's a demo. So keep that in mind too. All right, I must warn you that I am uncompromising, but I think we will f find common ground soon enough. I also bear some good news. They just finished constructing the guillotine. Starting today, it is available. Oh, interesting. Yes, we have seen it. All right, so desk, manage and arrange your documents. Read, click to open. All right, cool. All right, nice. Question and defendant will stir the impatient audience. Systematically opposing the opinion of the jury might lead to serious consequences. Oh, wow. That's not good for me. <laughs> he, he defines how animated the audience is. A high level of heat may cause random events that you have no influence over. Oh, wow, okay. After signing verdict, the prosecutor will review your report if he does not owe any favors and you made mistakes this could lead to you being removed from office and sent to the guillotine all right so let's try oh this is cool nice all right so a couple things i need to let you know even though i mentioned papers please before i did not get a chance to play that game so i've i think i've seen a few videos on it um it's a game that i wanted to play i still want to play it i'm probably going to play it after this <laughs> Uh, it's available on iOS, which is really cool. Okay. People are anxious. Alright, so... Who's this guy? Expected sentence. Prison. Death penalty. Acquittal. Okay. So I'm kind of the judge. I'm the, I guess, the head honcho. I have influence points. Act 1, day 4, and I got notifications. Saint just is lying. Oh, wow, okay, this is new. Oh. All right, cool. All right, how do I get out? Oh, there's numerous. And I got the last. All right, cool. All right, so that's the notebook. I figured that was that. Case file. Sort in the pages, drag and drop to arrange. Find out uh, keywords hidden within text. Unlock new lines of inquiry. To unlock a questioning line, click the lead 
again to enter the lead linking interface. There's a lot here. Okay, late in the evening in one of the dark alleys near the Pantheon and National Guard Patrol. Just give you a heads up. I, 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 I know this is not going to pertain to this, but I just want to give you a heads up that it was uh, Lafayette from the Revolutionary War that coined our term the National Guard. Just want to point that out because... Yeah. <laughs> stop the fight between two National Guard patrols. Stop the fight between two elegant men. Who uses the word elegant? When the soldiers approached the attackers, they saw they saw that one of them, elderly and graybeard, was standing over his fallen opponent, shouting angrily and kicking him. Three sol strong soldiers were involved in detaining the brawlers, and they were forced to use their rifle butts. The two ragged and bleeding men were taken to the nearest station where the officer was were there judged by their breath that neither of them had been drinking wine on that evening. Gee. <laughs> It's a clear sign of an alcoholic right there. <laughs> the aggressor was immediately interrogated, but he would only babble incoherently because he's not drunk. The lieutenant was able to note down only two words, dictionary and plagiarism. Huh. When later asked to repeat his statements, the gray-bearded man said that he was robbed. The beaten man's name is Leonard Pomorai. He is alive, but he will not be able to talk to people for some time due to a broken jaw. Okay, interesting. So when I click on this, what does that do? What is that? Oh. All right, lines of inquiry in case. Interesting. What is this? Huh, interesting. And then... Ooh. Covered in blood, so if I click this, question discovered. Okay, so please introduce yourself. Professor who a former lecturer at the now closed Sorbonne, a true university from before the revolution. So that's a prosecutor. All right, interesting. All right, questions for defendant. Investor mentioned in a report that you both you had blood on clothes. <laughs> the entire S section from the dictionary, dude. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's actually a smart guy right there.
being the walking fail that he is before he was able to do the same to me. It's kind of like a law and order, but 18th century style. <laughs> yourself with the details issue contained dialogue on trial summary desires. You fill out a report with information gathered during the trial, make mistakes, may cause negative results. After the trial you can check. Okay, cool. What did the victim steal from you? The rest are mentioned. Why did the information? I guess claiming the passion. All right. So I wrote all that stuff down. So being a good uh, judge here, writing it all down. That's, I guess that's what they're doing on Law and Order, right? They're writing it down. That's what I'm doing. I'm being a nice guy here. All right. So I'm missing something. Jury's opinion, prison. Come on, man. It's it's. It's the eighteen. It's the eighteenth century, man. Seriously, I mean. Does this guy really need prison? Give him a, like a probation or a period or something, right? Okay, wait, there's a robbery thing here. Wait, hold on. Did I read that right? Okay. Damn, I'm missing this one other thing here. I probably screwed it up by not connecting two things correctly. All links have been used. Trying to help you out, dude. All right, well, what, um, I wonder what happens if I click one of these common folk. Okay. Uh, I guess this is kind of like letting me know that the revolutionaries and common folk want the same thing. So, yeah, let's. All right, let's. Uh, death penalty? No, I'm not doing that. Uh, I would try to be a nice guy, but you kind of admitted that you kind of fracked up there a little, my friend there, so, uh, sorry. Sorry, my bad, dude. But, you know, we should, like, change laws in France so you can, you know, be the crap out of somebody if, if you want to. Judge's signature. Prosecutor. Justice prevails. 
Service him right, that fat. All right. Ooh. Five out of six, good job. All right, apologies, Prince of Mystery, right up. All right, all my questions, three out of four. I didn't, I didn't do too bad of a job. All right, you go, go away. What does this do? Common Folk, minus three, pop Reputation, plus two. Cool, all right. Next case, you go away. Uh, whispers can be heard from the jury. It is said that Commander in Chief of the Guards had a fight with Rabiel concerning the scope of his power. I think you should look into considering your rule begins where theirs end. All right. Oh, man. All right, Isai has something to offer. If you miss the start of a conflict, you might not get another chance to participate. Fall events. Each character has a major weakness that you can uncover by spending influence points. Okay, interesting. Oh, whoa, okay. Wait, I think I know this guy. Why is he wearing glasses? Kind of looks like an 80s... <laughs> kind of mix of, like, uh, the French Revolution meaning uh, the atomic blonde. Okay, so... I think I know this guy, Rabiel, Rispiel. Why does that name sound familiar? All right. New conflict. Uh, wants to fill the position of common. We do not know who that is, but if it was business, we can be sure that is. Yeah. I, do, I don't even know the, the, the thing of the case yet. Hold on. Design in the seal. Oh, that's cool. Like that. Is that chicken? Well, since all the heads are going to be rolling from this tribunal, that's probably just fitting. That looks good. I, the judge, sign this. So I kind of screwed up the second part. I, I thought like it was supposed to come into like the courtroom, but I must have pressed the wrong button. Oh, wow. Okay. What the frack is this? Whoa, whoa. Map. Wow. Okay. Your agent must unlock the street before you can take it over. It's a lot of stuff here to reallocate engines. All right. Okay, so obviously I don't want uncontrolled riots. Okay, these are my bruisers. So obviously there's a riot going on here. I like this guy, he's fat and he probably has a military uniform, so I'm gonna send him here. Okay, no enemy agents. No riots. I need you to go, do you have to go here? Okay, so I have to select this. There we go, good job. Uh, you stand tight. So I guess I'm Alexis Fideli. All right, 
end the day. Day five. So a couple things while this game is going on. This game is coming out on March 21st, so a little over a month. People feel betrayed by the king, and some believe him to be the spy, trying to elude justice. Special means are recommended when it's pressing unrest. We only need an opinion from the judges to make sure we're working legally. People can control their emotions or hurt others. As a result, look at the windows next time. They might do something worse than just throw rocks. It pains us to see unrest growing in the streets of Paris. Commander-in-Chief Brill has informed us that the Guard is no longer able to control the situation through peaceful means. It recommended that he be allowed to use more immediate methods to protect the innocent civilians, but we would like to know the Tribunal's opinion on the matter. I approve the National Guards. Uh, so if I say no, I wonder if that is going to get the military pissed off at me. And obviously, I don't want the military pissed off at me because, let's be honest, when, you know, justice and order fall apart, the only force left is the military and you want to be on the right side. But I'm trying to be a nice guy here. I'm trying to be a, a good guy here. So uh, I have a feeling that by authorizing this, the, where do we go, the Innocent civilians will be allotted in with the uh, unrest civilians, and it will just be a free for all. So I'm going to reject it. I'm trying to keep. Oh, wow, I can even stamp it. That's pretty cool. Check this out. That's really cool. I like it. So, right off the bat, I, I got to admit, the. Animations and the animations and the uh, artwork is just incredibly beautiful. That's just the first pro out of, out of the gate. It's really, really, absolutely beautiful. You can even see like this flag waving in the background, like little things like that. That attention to detail is just oh, beautiful. All right. I hope you know what you're doing. The convention may have issued that decree, but I've, I have no doubt it was Rupert's idea. Poor Porchard. Is this my son? Yeah. Oh, that's my wife, too. So the tutor has been, so this is the guy I'm assuming. Please introduce yourself, Monsieur. You know me, state your personal information or there will be consequences. You stand accused of spying for the counter-revolutionaries. Yeah, the priests were. Um, so I, I took a history class, and I, I know to, I know that the uh, the church lost a lot of land in that. And uh, tell me how our brothers in faith are doing. Okay. Case file. Hmm. Portugal was captured in the streets by fortress 
circumstance guard officer present during his trial a few months ago recognized and didn't, didn't hesitate to act following investigation Porter was accused of spying and spreading anti-revolutionary propaganda in order to prepare a foreign intervention that would end the revolution correspondence with Archbishop Jean Ars oh, excuse me um, was found in a room Pro Porchard had been renting from in it the clergy man asked for information about the unrest supporters the monarchy in hiding riches was also found huh not good my friend not good for you oh let's just cool I can put them side by side really like this uh, art style that they have I know I said it before but it's beautiful the director of the one of riches that Claude taught and testified that to question the law All right, so let's go into this thing here. A vicar. Oh, I want to see this uh, letter here. Okay, what is this letter? Letter from the Archbishop. All right, let's... Uh, damn it. How many do I have left? So I already used that one up. There we go. There we go. Damn it. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, so I think I got all the questions there. So I'm getting the hang of this. All right. Talk to this guy. All right. Well, obviously, I know what he teaches. All right, I'm missing three questions. Damn it. Oh, the people are not happy, man. Damn, they're not. Ooh, they're really pissed off. He, he just snuffed it to this guy. You don't want to do that, man. You don't want to go after, like, uh, I'm trying to figure out who, who's on Law and Order, that, that red haired girl. <laughs> you don't want to go out, well, <laughs> that is beside the point by promoting some. Alright. What information did the accused manage to convey to Archbishop de Brutel? I feel like this is all going to change until this. Oh shit. Hold on. Prison. Okay. So revolutionaries want prison. The common folk want the death penalty, man. My family wants to. All right. You know, honestly, I want to get this guy off because, like, he, he was teaching my kids, so. But I feel like. All right, get that Maria. All right, maybe she can set him free.
Once he said that in, instead of beheading, they could do something about economy and teach it, that the children are hungry. Well, that's a... Now that I think back, maybe he did. One evening he complained that the law didn't work, that a smart person would send all the kids to school by force if needs be. Damn, dude. All right, let's uh, bring out the case file again. Maybe I can. All right, cool. So I got all the questions unlocked. Main argument that Archbishop. Damn, man, they're really paranoid, these people. He keeps gold in his bed and still. It still takes food from the poor. Jeez, man. Probably wanted to kind of maybe not come in with like a nice suit. Probably like, I don't know, tear it up a little bit. Oh, shit. Dude, they're really pissed off. People are aggressive. Protocol. All right. Was his act? Uh, I guess. So then, the fine counter revolutionary is. Like, is criticizing a government counter revolutionary? I mean, so I'm gonna say no. Where are the traders doing? How much was the you paid? It was like two. Probably got that wrong, but whatever. Look, honestly, you all are kind of like crazy. And... This is gonna piss them off, but whatever. Dude, I gotta go back to my uh, to my wife, dude. No offense, y'all, but I gotta go to my wife, you know, and she's like, you know, prove the report up. Are you mad? You should both be killed! How can you set an agent of the Pope free? And doesn't matter what we have to say, you better take us into account in the future. Ah, screw you. I got most of them right. Ooh, bad job, damn. Yeah, man, this guy is a nice guy. He's a good guy. So, chill out. I even feel like the freaking jury, they're gonna start hanging me from the freaking coffers. Alright, is that the. No, I think that's me. Oh, that's a message.
Shrek Terror. Yeah, I might want to vote with the jury next time. <laughs> just saying. Just putting it out there. Damn, look. Oh, shit. Some bad's gonna happen. Oh. Wow. Damn. Damn. That's crazy. Oh shit. Oh shit, man. <sighs> Damn. It would have been a bloodbath either way. Damn, man. I like the uh, background. It's you can hear like there's not like no the music comes on at the right times, like especially like, the key se sequence. But like you hear the clock in the background, like the fire adds a little bit of um, immersion. I would say. I guess I have to find out. Reynolds. I don't know who the frack they are, but probably missed them. But all right, so I got this guy going there. What are you doing? For whoa, whoa, whoa! Who the fra enemy diplomat? All right, quell riots. So blue, I guess, means for me, red is, well, against me. If I hook this up with this section here or here, we can kind of split it 50-50. And then call these rise before they... Oh, look at the imagery, man. That's crazy stuff. I'm hoping it's a dream or something. What's amazing is these are out of, like, just... Oh shit. <laughs> Interesting. I lasted what? <laughs> A few days? <laughs> Alright, continue. Uh, <laughs> it didn't last long, dude. It did not last long. Alright, I'm gonna try to go to day six. Is there anything I can do in the last. Okay, so they gonna beat me up. Oh, that's a shoe. All right, uh, yeah, dude, I just made one ruling that they didn't like, man. They just took me to town, man. Ain't no joke. All right, so I'm gonna try to go for, I guess. I'll go for Porchard, and then I guess I have to sentence him to... <sighs> so, m maybe because I, I sent that guy... 
The district belongs to me, but the mob still got me. Is it because... To the common folk. Why is it red? All right, I'm just gonna I'll send you here. Is there anything I can do? Oh, okay, that's why I remember him. He got his head chopped off. Not right now, but... So, I'm all the way on the bottom. I guess I had a... I'm just gonna, I guess, I'm gonna, they're gonna take care of me after this, so there's no point. Yeah, you see? All right, well, I wanted to kind of give you guys this nice little taste of this game, and I guess this is how far I, I got. Uh, when you guys decide to start playing, uh, be sure to get the military on your side, because, yeah, I lost. I lost big time. You know, I was trying to, I was trying to be a nice guy. I guess can be a nice guy in Paris during the revolution, you know, so yeah, all right, I'm going to probably upload another video, uh, probably tomorrow, uh, I really like it, so a couple things, uh, pros wise, uh, I really love the art style, I think it's absolutely incredible, it's just, uh, it's beautiful, the, I really like how the game plays out, you know, it's kind of like, Papers, Please meets uh, kind of Law and Order, you know, and I, I know I mentioned that a couple of times, but it feels like it. I'm kind of like trying to figure stuff out. Uh, I like that I can have the power to like quit him, send him to prison, or, you know, do the middle thing. And it kind of gives you the uh, heads up that like if you're not, I call it, without the military, you don't have any power, so the mobs can come out and get you. I bet you if I didn't send, if I if I had that uh, military guy who was in uh, the Revolutionary Guard, if I gave him what he wanted in the beginning, I bet you he would have been alive. And I, I have a feeling that he might have been there to protect me. And if I made friends in the military, that they would have protected me against those mobs. Because honestly, it feels like the mobs went to town. I told the military, like, look, just don't attack the mobs, you know, don't don't shoot at them. Don't do a, um, a Boston Tea Party kind of thing, right? Don't do a Boston Tea Party. And then the crowd just went wild, killed all the military soldiers, killed bunches of people. So uh, in hindsight, you know, it was a bad decision. You know, I should have just had the military maintain control because at this point, like, I just, I went to town. Uh, I love the audio. Like, you can hear the music in the background. It's... Like, it has that, like, feeling to it, you know, of, like, worry, of, like, sadness kind of thing. And I love the way they put audio effects in at just the right moment. Like, they take out the music and they just leave the audio effects kind of things. I like that mix-up. That That's really cool. So, the game is really immersive. I'm actually probably going to play it uh, right after I edit this video and then I publish it. I'm probably going to play it again. Uh, but I hope you guys like this. I'm really, really looking forward to this game. Uh, honestly, guys, uh, this for me, uh, this for me is like an immediate buy, you know. Uh, I really like it. It's This is really cool. So uh, I can't wait to uh, get back into it. And, uh, you know, maybe I can um, survive longer. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I can't wait to publish out another video and really get back to it. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. See you then.